Hey, morning. So this is Soam and welcome to a new video in our channel. So I have not been making a lot of videos in this channel, but I am planning to actually be a bit regular in this channel. So maybe upload like one or two videos in a week if possible. But just let me know what kind of videos do you want to see in this channel about what tech like phones, like computers or like cameras. Let me know. But in today's videos, we are only going to discuss about what kind of gear from Sony you need if you are looking to make a proper vlogging gear only using Sony equipments. First, let's talk about body. So this is the Sony A7S3 body and the video which I am shooting right now is being shot on A7R3. So if you are looking to go for a camera and budget is not a problem then I would always suggest go ahead and get a Sony A7S3, nothing like it because this is going to perform the best in low light conditions as well. Bright conditions, low light conditions, it's going to handle the best so if budget is not a constraint then just go ahead and get the Sony A7S3 and if you are in a budget and if you need something like which is not very expensive as Sony A7S3 or not just very cheap something like Sony uh, A6500 or A6400 then maybe you can go ahead and go for the Sony A7R2 or S2 or maybe Sony A7 III instead of getting the R2 or S2 which are just like two old models maybe the best is just go ahead and get the Sony A7 IV which is the new model Sony A7 IV I don't think it has came out yet but you need to check or else Sony A7 III is the best which is in budget and it's not going to be very expensive like those cameras but the best thing is Sony A7 III, Sony A7 S3, R3 all of those cameras are full frame cameras so of course they are not going to do any kind of compromise with the field of view or the cropping or maybe the lighting condition uh, uh, results or just like the end results so when we talk about body if you don't have like a budget in mind and budget is not a problem I will always suggest go ahead and get something like the Sony A7 S3 for videos and if you are looking to be in budget and need something full frame camera and it has to be within the budget then Sony A7 III makes more sense and if you have a low budget and don't want to spend so much on a full frame camera I would always suggest to go ahead and get the Sony a6500, A6400 and if you need a full frame camera and you need it to be very lightweight then the new Sony A7C is also a very good option. So that is about bodies. Now you need to decide for YouTube you need a camera for vlogging or maybe you need a hybrid camera which can actually shoot videos also you can get nice thumbnails then you need a hybrid camera like Sony A7R3 you can get some amazing high quality photos you can also get 4K videos then Sony A7R3 makes more sense but if you need a dedicated video cameras when Sony A7S3 makes more sense but you cannot shoot all those high quality photos with this Sony A7S3. This is basically a dedicated video camera and Sony A7R3 is more like a hybrid camera. You can get nice 4K images, 4K I mean 4K videos, you can get nice crispy high quality images but you cannot get the kind of low light capabilities of, of Sony A7S3 right from the Sony A7R3. So basically for me normally I use two cameras, I use this Sony A7S3 as my dedicated vlogging camera just for videos I use this camera and whenever I have to shoot photos or I just need thumbnails I just use the Sony A7R3 which is always paired with the Sony 2470mm lens. So that is all about body, it all depends on your budget, if you are in a budget go for Sony A7 III, if you are looking to be in budget and need something very lightweight, Sony A7C is making more sense, if budget is not a problem go for Sony A7 S3 and if you need a hybrid camera then go for Sony A7 R3 or R4. Now coming to the lenses, so for vlogging the main thing is you need something which is very wide, I mean the field of view has to be very nice, so for them. I would always suggest to go for this 14mm f2.8. This is what I use almost 99.999% of vlogs has been shot using this 14mm. I only use this 16 to 35mm whenever I am in the studio but this is what has been very common and this is one has been very famous like most of the vloggers and most of the youtubers use this 16 to 35 millimeter lens and this the I, the best thing is it can actually go from all for the way from 16 to 35 millimeters so you can also get some nice footages like uh, very close up footages also you can get some nice photos but for this 14 mm it's just like very wide ultra wide lens and the best is is when it's only used for videos and not for photos until unless you are shooting something like nature then for portraits this lens is not recommended but if you are only looking to go for it make a dedicated video camera with a dedicated ultra wide lens like me then this one makes more sense so 14mm f2.8 with sony a7s3 is like cherry on the cake it's the best 
combination you can get for vlogging but if you're looking for a hybrid cam if you have a hybrid camera if you need the use just one setup for photos and videos both then 16 to 35 millimeters is the best again this is just too expensive a bit expensive than this one but this has more agility i mean this can do versatile it can do more stuff you can get nice photos you can get all the way from 16 wide and you can also get some mid segments somewhere around 35 millimeter photos as well then we have another one option is there sony 12 to 24 mm that is like more wider than this this is 14 mm the sony 20 12 to 24 is more wider than this and that is again a versatile lens because you'd be able to get footage and photos at 12 mm and also till 24 mm but the problem is it's just too expensive and it's just too heavy because for vlogging from my experience from last three or four years what i've felt is if your setup is just too heavy it's not making it doesn't actually make you comfortable making a lot of videos taking a lot of footages so you need to prop make sure your setup is lightweight and it's not just very heavy for me whenever i have this 14 mm connected to the sony a7s3 it's just too light i mean i am very uh, easy i mean i am very comfortable shooting a lot of footage but whenever i have like a heavy lens like 16 35 millimeters or maybe like 24 70 it's just too heavy and i'm not very comfortable shooting a lot of footages so if you are vlogging like me like 24x7 then it makes sense to go for a lightweight lens for a lightweight lens sony 14 mm f 2.8 is the best lens you can go ahead and get it so that's all about the lens part now let's talk about the mic part so this is the sony mic and the reason why i recommend this mic is this is very small very light and the best thing is it doesn't use any of the cables it's completely automatic digital and you don't have to charge it as well all you have to do is just open it it opens something like this so uh, you open it something like this and that's all and if you want it to work all you have to do is just connect it to the camera and just lock it and it automatically starts to work you don't have to do anything all you have to do is just switch on the camera and the mic is ready to roll and it has got many features as well and it's not very expensive as well when it comes to mic for example if you're going for a road mic you have to connect a cable and then again you have to charge this battery the rechargeable new one video micro i already have that mic but i hardly use it anymore because this is like my full time mic right now sony mic is absolutely amazing best thing is it has got a lot of control so like one two three one is like front only accepting front sound the second option is getting the sound from all this way like sides and the front and one more option is there which is getting sound from all 360 degrees so and again attenuation is there filters are there best thing is the size and you don't have to do anything all you have to do is just connect to the camera and you can see how portable it is i love the way it's there so mic is always there it's always on you don't have to charge it you don't have to connect any cables so nice and sleek so i highly recommend this sony mic as well so for the lenses i recommend this sony f 2.8 14 mm and if you need if you have a hybrid camera and you just need to invest on one lens to get do your photos and videos both then 16 to 35 millimeter makes more sense and for the mic I absolutely recommend this Sony top on the top of the camera mic this one and if you are looking for a wireless mic kit Sony is also being one wireless mic kit which you can connect to this and the receiver can be any place within a distance of like 100 meters 200 meters and can also accept the sound I am going to place the link below in the video description so basically that's all about Sony vlogging kit and if you are looking to I mean if you are keen about making a proper vlogging gear just concentrating on Sony gear I think this is the best option. Lightweight camera, maybe Sony A7S3. If budget is not an issue, Sony A7S3. I mean, if the lightweight Sony A7C, if budget is not an issue, so Sony A7S3. If you need a hybrid camera, Sony A7R3 or R4, in which can do photos and videos. Hybrid lens, I mean, for the lens, for a, you, if you just need one lens to do everything, 16 to 35 millimeters. And if you need a dedicated video lens which is lightweight and can help you feel comfortable while taking vlogs all throughout the day, then 14mm is the best. So, anyways, if you like the video, if you have been watching this video till now, click on that thanks like follow button so it's free you don't have to pay anything and all the links for the cameras lenses mic which i have recommended i have placed all the links below in the video description if you've got any questions let me know in the comments and i will try to make one more video maybe by the end of this week but just let me know your ideas in the comments and i will see you guys this week